Hi, welcome back to your Essential Abs series. Today I'm going to talk about rotation because we don't walk like robots. We don't just go forward and backwards. We move in a transverse universe, a transverse plane, if you will, where we twist and we turn and we reach for things and we're constantly in rotation. So we're going to be doing a few moves that support that functionality in our life. It's essential for daily living and it's incredibly essential if you're in any kind of athletic sport because there's no sport, again, where you're just going back and forth and back and forth. Um, but again, functional health is kind of where we're at. I know everyone wants the flat abs, but let's actually get something out of it that will help you in your daily life as well as help you lean out. Now I've explained before in my blog post that you have to work the rest of your body and it's also about what you put in your mouth that will give you a flatter, leaner tummy and reduce the belly fat, I hate to use that word, it's so ugly sounding, but that's what it is, fat cells around your middle. But it's also important to tone the muscle, build the strength, and, and deepen your core. So, that being said, let's do a few abdominal exercises with rotation. So you're going to grab a weight, if you have one, and you can absolutely do this with no weight if you are um, without weights or you're just a beginner. And you're going to do a, a chop, a wood chop. So you can do this a few ways. You can do it standing with your feet together and you can simply reach down to the side here, notice my knees bend and I'm reaching down towards my knees and swing the weight across or you can do this in a split stance if you feel you have a little bit more balance, lunge here and reach across. So we're going to do that a few times just to get that into our bodies. So here we go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The other side. Now, I should have mentioned before I started this that you can also sit in a chair and rotate side to side. And I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll add this, the sitting down one um, in the chair to the next exercise. Next exercise, regardless of who you are, you're going to sit down. And those of you who know this exercise is the Russian twist, you'll be very familiar with it. Those of you who don't, let me just explain. You want to sit tall on a chair, on the floor, on a stability ball, wherever you feel comfortable. I'll just back up a little bit. And you, if you have a weight, you can use a weight, and if you don't, that's okay. But the first thing you're going to do is sit nice and tall. And you want to lean back, keeping your chest up. The most important part is to keep your chest up and open. Okay, you don't want to hunch forward. Now you're getting into really bad posture and you're not working the essential abs uh, that we're trying to work here. So we're going to lean back and you're going to twist, keeping your chest open, keeping the shoulders down. Those of you who feel that you have more advanced kind of core strength, you can lift the feet just like this. We're just twisting back and forth. This is nothing new. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just trying to provide you with some smart choices when you're going about your essential abs routine. And you can rest. Now we're going to lie on the floor. <clears throat> and I'm going to show this in two different levels. Level one, you're going to Take your arms out to the sides. Your legs are going to be bent, or you can straighten them a bit. And you're going to lower the legs towards the side without touching the floor. You get down to the bottom, you exhale, and you lift those legs back to center on that exhale. You inhale down to the other side, again not touching the floor, and then you exhale back up. 
okay? The windmill is such an effective exercise. It's almost like a strength and a stretch. But now I want to take it a step further. If you are trying to throw this into your workout routine, this is one of my favorites, and a lot of people enjoy this one as well. You're going to add a chest fly, and you're only going to go to one side. So the legs go one direction, the arm goes the other direction, and you come back to center. Still keeping that notion that you inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, if you take it nice and slow and hold that motion at the bottom, you're going to feel the, the uh, obliques and the transverse abdominals and the erector spinae, all those muscles that I, I sort of mentioned without going into too much detail because I'm assuming you really don't care. You just want to look and feel better. Um, and then we're going to go to the other side. Just like this. Again, inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. And you can add these exercises to your workout routine, and you can throw them in, and you can decide, okay, I'm going to do, you know, three sets of ten reps each, or something, any timed, you know, as many as I can do in 30 seconds, you know, you can decide how you work them. The point is just do them. And good. Now, another exercise we're going to do, if you have shoulder issues, this one might not work well for you. And you can use an alternative one that I'll show you at the end. But if you are, are okay to go on your side for the side plank, the modified side plank can be done two ways. You can keep both knees bent and lift here, or you can take this top leg and straighten it here. And if you're in a full plank, you can either do splits. I don't know if you can see my feet. I'm not sure how the camera angle is. But you can do one foot forward because you need a little bit of extra support, but you can get up here, or you can stack your feet. And we're going to still stick with rotation by going underneath here and up. So if you're on the modified, you're still able to do it just like this. And if you have a light weight, you're welcome and you're more advanced, you can take the light weight underneath. I'm not going to take my larger weights underneath because the elbow, um, the medial part of the elbow, the inside, um, will get a little stressed if the weight is too heavy. And I have enough stress. I don't need to stress my elbows too. So you just do a few rotations here. And let's do one more on this side. And I don't want to be uneven, so let's do a few on the other side. And this way, even if you're just following along with me here, you'll get a few reps in here, and then you can kind of check your form against mine. Go look in a mirror, make sure that your shoulder and elbow are aligned here, and your body posture is nice and open at the end. You really want to reach up at the end and open wide. And, you know, if you don't get dizzy, you could follow your hand with your face so that you're in proper alignment. <clears throat> and then one more is a plank, twist, or hip drop, depending on who you ask. And you're going to come down in this plank position, and I'm going to show you the modified version as well. So you go into a regular plank. But then you drop your hip down to the side. You lift in the center, and then you drop your hip to the other side, and you lift in the center. Now, I don't mean a big, big lift. It's not a big release. You're just going down, center, down, center, down. And I'm just kind of shifting to the center. Now, the one thing that you might notice happening, if you look at my toes, is as you go through, it kind of makes your feet kind of... Um, go backwards, so you just have to keep tucking your toes under. That's normal. Now, if you're going to your knees in the plank, you want to make sure I didn't change my form, I just put my knees down, and I'm still dropping my hips. Now, I did a killer um, ab exercise, and so my abs, my waist, my obliques are really sore, so I can really feel this. When the muscles are already sore, you know. It's like when you have a good, really good core workout and then you get a cough and you can feel it, it just hurts if that's how I feel. Which is kind of neat because then you, you can kind of actually feel, oh yeah, that muscle's working. 
So I have con confirmation that we're working the right muscles. So there's going to be a few pictures that I'm going to include um, in case you want to take your core workout to the gym and use a, piece of, a few pieces of equipment. Um, I'm going to try to film, if I can, on the equipment, but if I can't, I'll just include pictures. If you have questions, I would love to see your questions or your comments posted in the blog. Um, you can post them to the YouTube page as well. That way I can get back to you, I can answer your questions and comments because I'm sure other people have them too. So please, I love hearing from you. Please leave me a note. And if any of the information in the blog um, seems um, unfounded, like why would I have to work my butt in order to get a flat tummy or why would I have to work my, you know, do squats for a flat tummy, just keep reading because uh, each blog post will give you a little bit more information on how the whole body is needed just to burn off what is right here. So I thank you so much for your participation and your dedication to your uh, health and your happiness and if I see you in class, wonderful. And if I don't, I hope to see you in the comments. Thank you so much.